Alec Baldwin. Do you remember this fella? This this absolutely amazing human being. You might know him as an actor slash comedian. I didn't write that. I would barely call him an actor and I certainly wouldn't call him a comedian. He's been in things like Beetlejuice, that classic, The Boss Baby, that other classic, The Cat in the Hat, which even as a kid I found the shittest film I'd ever had to be put through as a child. You know when your parents like, sit down and watch this. It's like, I don't want to fucking watch this. This is terrible. This is as bad as eating glue and then having to breathe like that for the rest of your life. Like, this is terrible. I'd rather have hot pins put in my testicles and left there for eternity. That's how bad it is. Pearl Harbor's not a bad film. What else is he in? Go on, show us. The Deported. Oh, Departed. I was going to say. He's also a racist. <laughs> Madagascar. Oh, my God. He was in Madagascar. I'm so sorry. He's a legend. He's a legend of the game. I didn't realise he was part of Madagascar. Mission Impossible. Hey, they were cool, weren't they? I suppose for one or two of them. I can't remember what we on. Mission Impossible 12? Mission Impossible? Who knows? So he's got, he's got children. He's got a wife. But what did Alex do? Well, he killed someone on set and shot him right in the fucking face with a fake gun. Yeah, sad times. R.I.P. the victim. I'm sure she was lovely or he was lovely. But unfortunately, it was on this film called Rust. Have you heard of Rust? No, guess what? It's still coming out. I know, that's fucking crazy, isn't it? It's actually crazy. They killed someone on set and they haven't even got the bollocks. They haven't got... Oh, Jensen Ackles is in it. Oh, forget it. I don't mind. Bring it out. I can't wait to see it. Forget everything I was just saying. I want to watch this. I didn't even know Jensen Ackles was in it, though, but he's fantastic, isn't he? But yeah, so there's this film called Rust coming up. He shot someone and it's still coming out, which is kind of funny. He basically killed someone and uh, what would you call it? Got away with it. It's mental. You know, usually if you were anyone else and accidentally shot someone, you'd probably go to prison. I mean, if I accidentally ran someone over, even though I didn't mean to, you would still go to prison for manslaughter. <gasps> really? Yeah, I know. That's so crazy. But big baldy Alex Baldwin has been found in a coffee shop wearing my dad's shoes and my grandma's pants and more importantly, a top from a charity shop. I mean, not to judge people, like, I just like a tramp because I like it, but I just like a tramp because I'm comfy. You know, tracky bees, a long jumper, hood up, hat on, hiding in the corner, pretending I don't exist. You know, that's the cool shit. Not dressing like, you know, someone from the 1940s who's been, been sent out to war. Ali, can you please stay free Palestine one time? Why did you kill that lady? So, I'm going to sit it down. Hold on. It's hurting me ears listening to this woman yappa dapper. So, firstly, a first point is kind of irrelevant. I think the main point of this is, why, how, how did you kill someone, sir, and get away with it? How are you not in prison or at least, you know, confined to your island in next to Epstein's? You know, how are you allowed out? Well, I've got loads of money and paid for really good lawyers and I've actually managed to blame one of the workers whose fault it was, whose the gun was under her protection because if you hadn't noticed, just to let you know, this lady here was the one who's got blamed for it. She was confi- con convicted felon. She was the lead armourer in it and uh, the upcoming rushed and basically one of the guns fired in her own, uh, I guess, in her own, uh, what would you call it? Uh, like, not control, like her own... Fuck, I'm such a spaz. How can you not think of the word? Like, it was under her duress. She had control of it and that's why, it, and she shot and she basically got blamed for it. She got 18 months, believe it or not. And then she's also, she worked with Nicolas Cage who stormed off after a gun in her care went off in the crew the second day in Rochelle and make an announcement you just blew my fucking eardrums out. That's a great story, but we're ignoring that. We're missing the point here. We're here to talk shit about Alex Baldwin. How can you say, free, Pal free Israel, free Palestine, whichever one you're saying, whichever side you're on, and then go, how did you get away with killing someone? I think the more pressing matter is, how the fuck did you get away with killing someone? You kill that lady and got no jail time? No jail time, Alec? No jail time, Alec. You're putting innocent people in jail, Alec Baldwin. I'm so sorry. Free Palestine, Alec, just one time, and I'll leave you alone. Free Palestine. So, you know, you've killed someone. You know, you shot them point blank in the fence. They died. Yeah, you murdered them. But if you say free Palestine, I'll let you go. Hey, eh? hey, go on, Ali. That's a good deal. Come on. Listen to me, baby. Listen to me. Come on. Nah, mate, that's a How can you argue with that deal? That's such a fantastic deal. Come on. Stop being so mean. Like, please. Just say free Palestine. If I say it, will you leave me alone? Yeah. Free Palestine. Psych, bitch. I ain't leaving you alone. Like, you know, what's free Palestine got to do with that poor lady's life? I'll leave you alone. I swear, just say free Palestine yeah. one time, one time, one time, one time, Alex, you know, you know he's a criminal, you know he's a fucking criminal, come on. 
It's kind of funny. Yeah, call the police. Call the police. What are the police going to do? She's allowed to film you because you killed someone. Yes, yeah, say free Palestine. Like, come on. Get your priorities straight, mate. You've, she just killed. He's killed someone. Got away with it. And you're like, free Palestine. Free the homies. Bro, what's Alex Baldwin saying free Palestine going to do? Oh, 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 God. You know, it's like when people pray for Palestine. What's praying going to do, bro? Send them some guns. Send them some missiles or something. That's the shit they need. Oh, I've never, I've never actually believed in your Jesus. In your, what, what what's their God called? I did, I've never believed in your god but i will i will give you a prayer i feel like an idiot i only sent them three homing missiles and a bazillion dollars in a trunk so that they can eat you know <laughs> what a spare just say free palestine one time one time just one he's herding sheep he's herding cats time please and i'll leave you alone Free Palestine. He's like, no, no, no. No, I can't. I will never work again. No, no, no. Because the government are making so much money off these wars. I can't. I can't. And I'm also making so much money off these wars. It's incredible. Fuck Israel. Fuck Zionism. Please say it. One time. Sarah, could you do me one quick favor? One time. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch just got sucker punched. Let's watch it again. Do you see his tongue come out? Watch, watch, watch. Man's not moved this much in 50 years. Can you do me a quick favour? <laughs> <laughs> he sticks his tongue out. <laughs> do me a quick favour, love. Go on, go on, go on, do us a quick favour. Bang! Sucker punch. What a noise that make. I mean, Alex has had enough. To be fair, though, he'd probably get, if I saw him in the streets, I'd be like, oh my god, it's a pleasure to meet you, mate. Oh, I'm such a big fan. Can I ask you one question? I accidentally killed someone, and I'm wondering how you got away with it so I can do the same. <laughs> Imagine if you said that to him. He'd be fuming, sad. He'd be bloody fuming. More seriousness, though. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sure it was an accident, and I like to think he didn't mean to kill him. But at the same time, you have shot someone, and they've died, and their family, everyone else, has not had any justice except the, you know, you were the one who did it. You know what I mean? If someone runs someone over in a car, you don't blame BMW. You blame the fucking idiot who was driving it. The same, you blame the fucking idiot who was holding the gun. It's amazing how these things are actually in guns anyway. Like, how can you have, like, fake ammo, or, like, pretend to have fake, like, that little look? And sticks the tongue out. Oh, I fucking adore it. I mean, uh, Alec, Alec, free Palestine. No, all right. Well, how come you? Ki how, how did you get away with killing someone? <laughs> doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense like don't get me wrong wars are bad and what's going on in israel and palestine is way above my pay grade and i feel sorry for anyone involved what the f is alec baldwin gonna do by saying anything on camera you know what i mean he needs lawyers to help him get out of court so he gets away with murder not so that he can go and pretend he's interested in a war he doesn't care about in all in conclusion lads what a great what a great clip you know i love the little punch at the end of, you know can it can, can I get some boom? You know what I mean? I felt the ferocity in that bad boy. Leave it there, lads, ladies. Alec Baldwin, murderer. And he's not a fan of Israel or Palestine, I don't know. Or is a fan of one, whichever is making him money, I don't know. But most importantly, someone ruined this poor man's coffee. <laughs> How's he ever going to recover? Oh, God. Leave a like if you enjoyed at all. But more importantly, leave me a comment on what your opinion of this fella is. Is he a criminal? Is he the next... I don't know who's a criminal. The next, uh, Unabomber. Is he the next... Night Stalker. You tell me. You tell me. Does he deserve to be in jail or should he be allowed to have his coffee and that film come out in a few months time. <laughs>